Are you a caregiver, an aging adult, or a care receiver who is throwing up your hands saying, ah, I wish someone told me that caregiving would be like this. I wish someone told me that getting old would be like this. It's not what it's cracked up to be. In this video, I'll share 10 unexpected, crazy things about caregiving that you may or may not know. You may be new to caregiving and all of this caregiving stuff that happens may be quite a shock. You may be an aging adult who is seeing your health decline, realizing that you will need care and you're not sure who will be that caregiver. I'm Pamela Wilson. I help caregivers and aging adults solve caregiving problems. For the past 20 years, I have responded to caregiving emergencies, shown up in emergency rooms, nursing homes, memory care communities, manage 24-hour care for my clients. I am a caregiving expert. The number one surprise in caregiving that we don't like to talk about is that caregiving results in death. How do I know this? I know this from my own personal experience. My oldest sister died in a car accident when I was 17. My mom passed away when I was 35. Followed by my father several years later, and my oldest brother one year after my father. I was the person, and you may know someone like this, who said, no more funerals. I don't do funerals. So what did I do? I took that experience and I became a caregiving expert who helps aging adults through caregiving issues and also end of life issues. As a power of attorney, I have had to turn off the machines on life support for my clients. I've been with them when I passed away. Death is scary for us until you have been with a loved one who has passed away and the fear of that goes away. Which brings us to number two. Aging parents ask me, who will be the caregiver? My question to them is, have you talked to your children? If you're a single adult, have you talked to your family? Having conversations about caregiving and power of attorney are extremely important. If you know who your power of attorney is, you will know who caregives for you. The reason that we don't have these conversations is because we don't know what power of attorney is. As a power of attorney, I can help you understand that. On my website, PamelaDWilson.com, there is a power of attorney course. I take you from the A to Z of power of attorney so that you know that it is so much more than a piece of paper. The person that you choose is important. The responsibilities are important. Choosing a power of attorney is nothing that you should ever take lightly. Number three, loved ones will refuse care. As an aging parent, you may tell your children, oh, I don't need any care, I'm fine. The reason this happens is because as we age, things happen, our health declines, it gets worse. Maybe we can't drive anymore. Our world is getting smaller because we've lost friends. Maybe we can't go out as easily as we once did. We feel like we're losing control and our families wanna swoop in and just take over. Adult children, the roles in a sense reverse here. Your parents took care of you as a child. You have a responsibility now to care for your parents, but you can't just rush in and take over. Again, caregiving conversations are important. Mom or dad, how can I help you? Mom or dad, I see that you might need help with this. Would you like some help? How can I help you? And caregiving should be 50-50 with equal participation the caregiver shouldn't do everything. The older adult should not expect to be waited on. Next, there is the financial shock of caregiving. Medicare does not pay for everything. Medicare, private insurance, doesn't pay for the help that most aging adults need to stay at home. That's your retirement savings, your Social Security. If you have long-term care insurance, it pays for that. Otherwise, you are on your own. If you're low income, Medicaid can help. These are conversations that it's important to have. Adult children, your aging parents might not want to talk to you about their money. That's very common. So what do you do? You talk about costs of care. In-home caregivers, $25 to $35 an hour. Assisted living, $4,000 to $7,000 or $8,000 a month. 
Memory care, $5,000 and up. Nursing homes, $300 to $350 a day. That's $10,000 a month. It's crazy. Time to talk about this now rather than later when you're shocked that there is no money to pay for care. Which brings up the next one. No one wants to go live in a nursing home. My mother would shake her finger at us and say, don't you ever put me in a nursing home. I will come back from my grave and haunt you. <laughs> Fortunately, we never had to do that. For older adults to stay at home, you have to remain active, physically active. Falls are the number one reasons older adults leave home. I call it falls, fractures, and death. You break a hip fracture, the chance that you will die in the first year, 12% if you live at home, 20% if you live in assisted living, 30% if you have dementia or live in a nursing home. Must remain physically active, must be able to continue to bathe, dress, walk around, take your medications, do all of those things. I tell my aging clients that staying at home is like having a part-time job after you retire. It takes work. It just doesn't happen. Number six, we have memory loss, Alzheimer's, dementia, behaviors that go around with that. Why don't we talk about this? It's because as family members, family members don't recognize the signs of memory loss. Aging adults who go to the doctor, they forget to talk to the doctor. They don't remember the list of things that they were going to talk about. They don't remember that they forget. 50% of older adults over age 85 have memory loss and are undiagnosed. What are the signs? Forgetting to take medications, poor hygiene, sticky notes all over the house. You have a conversation with someone and five minutes later, you don't remember what you talked about. Memory loss is common in older adults. It's important to go to the doctor to get a diagnosis so that you can be preventative. Younger adults, dementia, Alzheimer's, the signs happen 10 to 20 years before a diagnosis. What are they? They begin with circulatory issues. If you have high blood pressure, diabetes, anything that affects your circulation, vascular dementia is a high probability for you. These are things that your doctors don't tell you. These are things that I know because I've been in caregiving for more than 20 years, family experience and professional experience. I know what happens. I wish I could tell you caregiving would get easier. It won't. It becomes more difficult as our aging loved ones see health declines as they get older. Number seven, the healthcare system is not your friend. If you are an aging adult, you have to be able to advocate for your care. A situation I had with a client who had pneumonia and went to a hospital. The doctor said to me, oh, he's old. He's lived a good life. Why should we treat him? We shouldn't put him through all of this. I said to the doctor, I'm the guardian. I know what he wants. He bounces back very quickly when he receives treatment and I want him treated. Doctor, not happy with me, but did what I wanted. This has happened with me over the years with more clients than I would like to admit. As an aging adult, as a caregiver, you have to know your health better than anyone else and you have to stand up and advocate or you will be refused care by the healthcare system who favors the young, not the old. Number eight, it's important to have a backup plan. In my family, our thought was that my mother would outlive my father. My father was older. Men die before women, that's the truth. Happened exactly the opposite. My mom passed away first. I don't know what we were thinking. She had all kinds of health issues. My father was healthier. She passed away. My father was extremely, extremely depressed. He was a World War II veteran and he almost committed suicide. Fortunately, he called me and he talked to me about that. These are the issues that you as caregivers will experience with your parents that you as a spouse may experience with another spouse. It's important to have a backup plan. If you are a spouse and you are power of attorney for each other and one passes away, who is your power of attorney? Is it child number one, child number two, child number three, or a friend of yours? We all need a caregiving backup plan. It's important. 
Number nine, believe it or not, families don't get along. Usually one person in a family becomes the primary caregiver and they end up doing everything. And they feel stressed, anxious, overwhelmed, angry. Um, they worry that they can't keep going on. There are days when they throw up their hands and say, I don't want to be a caregiver anymore. Why is this? Because they don't ask for help. <laughs> Which leads us to number 10, caregiving support is important. Whether you attend a group in person, online, take a course, becoming more knowledgeable about all of these crazy things that happen in caregiving can avoid the unexpected. They can avoid many of the things I've talked about, but not if you don't gain the knowledge. So what are the benefits of groups? You learn new caregiving skills, you share information with others, and become more confident in making the right decisions for your loved ones and in advocating. You also share stories with other caregivers who are in similar situations. Many people outside of caregiving will judge and say, oh, it can't be that bad. Of course you should take care of your parent. They have no idea what you're going through on a daily basis. Caregiving support groups and courses help you gain hope. The helplessness, the worry goes out the door. You feel better, you feel more confident, and you won't say hardly anymore, I wish someone told me that caregiving would be like this. I wish someone told me aging would be like this. Caregiving support is important. I'm Pamela Wilson. I help caregivers and aging adults solve caregiving problems. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. On there you will find free caregiving library, newsletter, online support groups, courses like my Power of Attorney course, and others. I'm here to help. I'm a caregiving expert with 20 years experience. I know what happens in caregiving, and I can save you time, worry, and heartache. I hope to see you on my website, in a course, or in another one of my videos.